Hey guys, Rainer and Shades here, exercising my first member rights vlog style, and it's time for an episode of What's Wrong With. This is going to be a different kind of what's wrong with than I normally do because as much as I like a decent amount of ACDC's music, there's a decent amount of things to be critical about with them. So let's get started. I first started listening to ACDC when I heard my uncle playing a song that went like da 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 and I thought it was a really cool sounding thing. I later found out that the song was called Back in Black, and that was basically the starting ground that got me to look into more of their music. ACDC have some pretty good stuff in their catalog, but my favorite albums of theirs would have to be For Those About to Rock and The Razor's Edge. Obviously, I'm more into the Brian Johnson stuff than I am with the Bon Scott stuff, but if I had to pick a favorite Bon Scott era album, that would have to be Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap. By no means do I think that the guys are extraordinary musicians but the talent for me really lies in Angus Young. I don't consider him a guitar god, but he does enough to keep the song interesting. Malcolm, Cliff, and whoever's playing drums on the particular album, they do all that they really need to do, being the rhythm section of a hard rock band. They don't do any upstaging, and I can appreciate that. Both Bon Scott and Brian Johnson have very distinctive voices. Although there are a number of bands that take an ACDC approach to writing hard rock music, such as Airborne, Montrose, Rose Tattoo, Rhino Bucket, Candy Harlots, and others, you can pretty much always tell you're listening to an ACDC song. They also put on a pretty entertaining live show when I saw them back in 2009, which is where I got this shirt. I liked seeing Angus go crazy when they played Let There Be Rock, and the stage show also had some cool props such as at the beginning of Hell's Bells when Brian went swinging on the bell's rope, and of course the canon in For Those About to Rock, We Salute You. I also appreciate the fact that they've influenced a number of bands I like. There are way too many to name, but lots of hard rock and metal roots can be traced back to ACDC. The thing I always see being said negatively about ACDC is that the writing is redundant. That is something I don't disagree with. Even though I don't dislike their music, I'd be lying if I said I've never made a joke about ACDC's writing and how they use the same chords in a lot of their songs. I'd be lying if I said I've never compared a band whose writing I felt was formulaic to ACDC. The formulaic approach to hard rock can get pretty aggravating, feeling like once you've heard one song, you've heard them all. But let's not act like ACDC are the only band that does that. There are a number of bands that one can say the exact same thing about. And you know why that is? Because it's subjective. The only defense I can really make for ACDC in this case is something I remember saying about KISS in the What's Wrong With I Made About Them. When you're listening to a hard rock band like ACDC, you shouldn't go in thinking you're gonna hear heavy metal. That's not to say you should lower your expectations when you listen to hard rock. All I'm saying is that maybe bands like this shouldn't be held to a metal standard. But let's get into the real reason I'm making this video, and the reason why this video has the words, and answer is provided, in the title. I'm aware this might be an unpopular opinion, but I really think ACDC needs to retire. Malcolm has dementia, Phil Rudd's having legal troubles, and just now, Brian Johnson is being told that if he continues to tour, he could lose his hearing. There's no easy way to say it, but I really think it's time for Angus to hang it up. I mean, in general, the guys are old. It's been over 40 years since the band first formed, and I really don't think they're in the best condition to continue ACDC any further. It would really be for the best if the band retired, because I doubt the fans want to see them in this kind of a condition. I'm not even the biggest fan of ACDC, and I don't want to see them in this condition. Condition. I'm glad I got to see them live in 2009 before things got ugly recently, but if I didn't, I wouldn't want to see them live now. I especially wouldn't want to see them live if this rumor about Axl Rose singing on their tour is true. By no means do I think Axl Rose is a terrible vocalist. A shitty person, definitely, but as a vocalist, I don't like the idea of seeing him in the context of ACDC. Maybe some classic rock kids find the idea amusing, but I don't. Axel should do the Guns N' Roses reunion tour with that rip-off VIP package, and ACDC should just hang it up. It's time. 
and it's been time for years. This is kind of like that quote from The Dark Knight. You either die a hero or live long enough to see yourself become the villain. If we put that into context, ACDC never went out with a bang when they had a chance to do so. They never went out at all, actually. So although I'm not saying the guys are villains per se, they failed to die a hero. I feel similarly about a lot of classic rock and classic metal acts these days. They are well past their prime, and I feel that makes for a pretty lackluster experience seeing them live. I remember saying something like this in the video I made in 2013 when Bruno Mars was announced to perform at the Super Bowl halftime show, when I talked about The Who and the classic rock halftime shows that were being put on back then. When you get to a certain age, although the touring lifestyle can be awesome, the performance isn't as fresh, so it might be time to close shop. This is actually also the main reason why I haven't been going to as many classic rock or classic metal concerts as of late, unless I feel strongly about seeing a particular band. It's because most of them are at an age where I don't think I'd be getting as good of an experience. ACDC these days falls right smack in that category. Meanwhile, most bands from the 90s and 2000s, although they might not be in their prime, they're still in better touring condition. The odds aren't as against them as they are for ACDC. This isn't meant to show any disrespect to ACDC. I wouldn't make them a part of the series if I didn't have any respect for them at all. The band has decent hard rock material under their belt, but they are way past their prime. They're getting old, and they're experiencing the problems that come with it. And thus concludes my two cents on ACDC as of late, as well as classic bands in general. So aside from all that I've said pertaining to the band's condition at this point in time, I have one question for you, the viewer. What's wrong with ACDC? Please be rational when giving your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for watching this video. Take care and have a nice day. I'm Shades, and I'll see you next time.